Welcome once again to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and today I want to talk about video on the iPad. Now, you might have heard rumors that the iPad can't do video because it doesn't do flash. Well, there's a lot of video that is not in flash, and one of those things is podcasts like Ask the Techies. And you can subscribe to them on your computer and sync, with, sync them on your iPad, but you can also download them directly onto your iPad. And let me show you. There's an uh, app on the iPad called Videos. This is not much different if you've had an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And in here you'll find movies that you might have synced uh, with your uh, computer where you can click on those and play. Uh, you've also got uh, podcasts, and there's the podcast. And you can go in there and you see all the videos that are in there and you can watch those. And if you want to download more, you just go to the iTunes app and you can download, subscribe to more podcasts and download more of those. Uh, and there's music videos. And there's one that I bought, and you can just tap on it, and well, here, I'll just play a segment for you. Gives you information on about the size, the length, the play. This is one I bought off the iTunes store. Now, audio is pretty good on this thing. I don't, know if you, I don't have the volume all the way up. Let me turn the volume up. Tap. Not bad. Tap to pause, click done. You can also scrub through it if you want to get to a certain part of the video, like you love the part where it, oh, there we go. All right, and you can hit play again. So there's videos, right? There's some music videos that I'm watching. And let's say you haven't bought that and you're saying there's something else I want to watch. Well, you close out of this. There's also an app for YouTube comes pre-installed. There are gobs of videos out there on YouTube that you can watch, including, hey, Ask the Techies. That's right, we are on YouTube as well. Um, although you can get uh, uh, full versions of our videos. Sometimes they're spliced up on YouTube because of the 10 minute limit. Um, and you can get full versions uh, at iTunes or at our website. And you can subscribe in iTunes and have it automatically sync with your iPad. But you can do a search in here and find a video. Let's just pull in one. Um, unfortunately, it's got all me, so you well, it is an iTunes one. I'll just pull up this NTSC Seacam PAL video. Um, actually, let's pick this one up here, Skype 2. And you see the quality of the video. Actually, it looks pretty good. I don't know if this is coming through very well on this uh, camera, but uh, it's looking pretty good. This is the review I did on Skype. Hey, you're seeing double me now. Uh, looks like it got held up from the download. Uh, must be a busy time on the internet right now when I'm shooting uh, here at 5.48 p.m. Uh, let me click done on that. Hit play again. Anyway, the quality is excellent. I was very pleased with that. So lots of YouTube. If it's on YouTube, then you've got it access on your iPad, which is wonderful. One other thing to think about is the ABC player. This is outstanding. If you're a fan of Lost or a lot of the other shows that are on uh, ABC's player, um, pull this over here where you can see it a little better. So right there you go. Uh, basically it's giving you a sampling of shows here. If there's popular episodes that you want to be able to see, uh, you can just uh, click on the one that you want. If you want to watch Private Practice, you can just tap on it. And the video is going to come up. You get a little bit of an ad, just like the ones you might have seen uh, online through the website. So it plays this. And then if you rotate, it'll play at full screen for you. So anyway, we don't want to watch their ad. They're not paying me to be on this. <laughs> so I'm going to close out of that. Anyway, gobs of TV shows that you can uh, access on there. And, and let's say there's something else that you want. You know, the iPad has 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, or 64 gigabyte. Well, I went for the 16 gigabyte, and it's not enough room to store all my video. But I bet you if I went with 64 gigabytes, I wouldn't be able to store all my video on my iPad. So, what about the hundreds of gigabytes that I've got on my computer, my desktop computer? Well, if you download and install a little program called Air Video onto your computer, then you can stream it to this device. You download, a, uh, there's a free app, Air Video Free. And with Air Video Free, it is the free version, so you don't get to see all of your videos. It only shows you like the first three in a folder. Um, but I'm going to show you this for the sampling, the free version. So you can download it and try it and test it out yourself. But I'm going to show you. Uh, here's a computer that I'm going to connect to. And basically, here's folders that I've set up. And then basically, you can just go like, here's Miro. I use Miro to get a lot of content off of the internet. If you haven't used Miro before, it's, it's getmiro.org, I believe. 
uh, or just do a search for MIRO and you'll find it. And anyway, here's some examples of stuff that's in there. And I can click on a video, like here's a YouTube videos by Money Python. And it takes a look. It doesn't have to be in an iPad or iTunes compatible format. For instance, this video, as you can see, is an FLV file, a flash video. Well, what do we do? Well, I can tap on it. It'll pop up over here. There it is. And I can click play with live conversion. And I click play, and it will start playing it for me. It's going to convert it for me on my computer, my desktop computer, and then it's going to send it to this device. And there we go. It's playing. I'm playing a flash video on my iPad. Pretty amazing. <laughs> and you thought flash couldn't be done. Well, really it's not, but there's ways around, there's always ways around stuff with technology. There's always back end doors. Okay. So click on that. And you can find other videos. Let me hit stop. <laughs> so you can go through and I can hit recycle actually and find others. There's another Monty Python bit in here. And here's a video that's an MP4. And you click on that and you hit play. And it's going to play it. And I won't have to convert this one because it is an MP4. And there we go. Hit stop on that. So that's yet another way for you to be able to get video onto your iPad. And there's also stuff like BBC News Service. And some of their news stories actually have video clips that you can actually watch some of the, the news. And it works right here on the iPad. Um, see if I can find one that actually has some uh, video playing on it. Uh, let's do a... Here's one. Uh, dozens die in a Baghdad bomb blast. I'm not sure I'm going to play that one, but let's just do a quick sample in here. Tap to play. You just tap. I may not have registered my tap. There we go. Sometimes if I slide my finger when I tap, I kind of it doesn't quite get it. But there we go. And there's playing the video from BBC. Pause. Click done. And I can go back and look at other news. Gobs of stuff in here that you might like. Now, if you're really into movies, you say, I want a lot of movies. I don't own a lot. They're not on my computer, but I want to be able to watch it. I have a Netflix account. This doesn't have a DVD player for me to watch my Netflix videos that I get in the mail. Well, how would you like to get them instantaneously? Well, there is a Netflix app, and it's free. You can download. If you've already got the subscription with Netflix, you can stream videos, TV shows directly to this. You just log in with your uh, Netflix ID and password, and you can watch a lot of videos that way as well. So there are gobs of options for watching video, and this is very portable, making it ideal for you to be able to do exactly that. It's not heavy on your lap. It does not get hot on your lap the way my laptop does. Um, and the speaker is actually not too bad on it. But if you really hate the speaker, you can just pop in some headphones. All right? So go out there and do some video on your iPad. And uh, hopefully this has dispelled some myths. If you have questions about the iPad or heard some myths, some rumors, you're wondering if they're true, be sure to send me a question. Send me your thoughts, comments, any of that at questions at askthetechies.com. I love hearing from viewers, and I love getting your ideas for future shows. All right? Have fun.